everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Let's talk about how to measure for hydrogen today. I know that in the past I've made videos talking about those little blue drops that supposedly help you measure hydrogen and they're only somewhat accurate. They're not as accurate as I actually once thought. Apparently not only the size of the drop affects it but it can also interact with other things within the water. There's also things like these digital meters those things don't even measure hydrogen at all. They're actually measuring ORP. And that's actually a really big problem because there's a lot of things that can throw off ORP and you can manipulate ORP in all sorts of different ways. And then it creates this algorithm and then it gives you what supposedly it thinks as far as the amount of hydrogen that it's creating. It's really not the best way to go. Upon researching the subject more deeply, this is what I found. It's a lot more complex to measure hydrogen than I once thought. Basically, there's two different types of machines. There's one rather expensive machine that measures hydrogen, dissolved hydrogen within water. So that's one of the type of ways to do it. These machines are expensive. They actually require a lot of calibration. I believe it's like every couple days or every week or something. They require a lot of maintenance. It's not really realistic for any of you know normal people like us probably to own something like this. So it's really not the best way to go. And again, just too expensive to own a machine like that. They're actually more expensive than the hydrogen machine itself. Then you have even more expensive equipment, which actually can measure the hydrogen gas, like the kind of stuff that you would do for inhalation. Those machines are so expensive that typically they're rented from like some large university or something of that nature. Now, here's one really important thing that I've been noticing, and I think it's important for everybody out there to know about, is these numbers that people are giving, like as far as different machines out there, as far as inhalation, like the amount of hydrogen gas that you're getting. The reason that it's really, really a problem is because some of these numbers are like super inflated, and a lot of the stuff that I've been discovering is that they measure them from where they come out right out of the machine, but when the machine goes through a tube, literally like every inch will give you a different measurement because hydrogen gas is constantly leaving. So this is actually something I learned when I was researching all sorts of different machines and hydrogen inhalation machines. And one of the really interesting things that I found out actually was my favorite machine, the HydroFix. So this particular unit is the, uh, they're the first company and only company that's ever done this. They actually will test every single machine they make. That's nuts. In fact, that's super time consuming. Apparently it's pretty expensive. I can only imagine how much work it would be to do something like this. But when they test every single unit, it goes almost to like a certification process and then they'll even put a certificate showing you all sorts of information from the way it was tested, the exact amount of hydrogen made at that moment. And it's just really, really important and pertinent information. And so this is, you know, if anybody ever gets a machine like this, especially the ones that are being released now, the, the latest ones, look for that because they'll give you all sorts of information that's really pretty cool, even down to, I believe, the serial number of the actual machine. I know the first ones they came out, all the machines have always been tested, but the first ones that came out, they didn't actually come with a certification, even though they were tested and they were made sure that they were making the right amount of hydrogen. That's actually the reason I, why I like the machine so much is because they're very, very specific about the amounts of hydrogen that it's making, both for the water and also for the inhalation. And they don't just give you the number of what comes out of the machine, it actually gives you the number of what's coming out of the actual tip of the tube that you're actually inhaling. And I found out that the numbers from where you're inhaling, even just a little far back on the tube, the numbers are so drastically different. So of course you're not gonna have these huge overinflated numbers. And so I just like that they're really honest about the actual numbers. But anyway, back to how to measure hydrogen. Those are actually the best ways. I don't really trust you know any of the other ways. And if you really wanna make sure that you're getting the proper amount of hydrogen, well, it'd be pretty difficult unless you buy something that's certified, that's showing you exactly how it was done, obviously using you know expensive equipment and the proper equipment to actually measure it. The blue drops, again, they're not as good as I once thought. I actually thought they would give you a really accurate reading. It doesn't appear to be the case. The digital meters, just forget them. And they're really expensive. I've seen a lot of videos where people are using them. It just doesn't look like the way to go. So I hope you guys found this information helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, you know, the video and subscribe if you haven't because I've been working on some other videos. This is just one of my simple videos today. I actually have some really more in-depth and really cool videos coming up. I've just been kind of busy, but I'll definitely be having those uh, coming to you guys soon. So don't forget to hit that notification button. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the next video.